You probably know me if you know me at all. Hello guys, welcome back. I'm your friend in Saxo. Today we will try to do an experiment to try if we can use a Python to control the OBS. First, we create a new repository. Then we do a clone. So what you need to do is first go to the first website. You get into the OBS WebSocket repository. From here, we will try to download a release. Since we were using the Linux, we will just try to download the DB file. After that, we open that package and click the install button. It says that it depends on OBS Studio. So I cannot install it. Uh, even though I still got the web circuit server settings right in here under the toss tab of my OBS. This should be something that you would get if you install it right. Now for the simplicity, I won't enable the authorization. I'll just click the OK. After that, we go to the second URL, which will lead you to this page. From here, we're going to try to install packaging. That's it. All right, after the installation, let's go to the samples. For this folder, it got two files. I guess I'll just use the first one. We copy it to our main py file. Let's try if we can run this file. It says that connected. It got the default port 4444. We didn't set the secret. We didn't set the password, so it's okay. But the problem is how can we actually interact with the OBS or control our OBS? Uh, let's go to the second one. I'll just do a copy again. Okay, for this one, it says websocket.call call the request to get a scene nest. It get all those things. And for each scene in those scenes, we can get the the LAN. Uh, we can print it out and in the end we can uh, set that set it to that scene okay let's just run this file mm, let's just print out the land of the scene with two new line around it so we can see it clearly now you can see we got a scene which called a scene that's not new let's just um, add another scene for this scene i'm going to call it a b c d uh, it's just an empty scene. I don't I don't care about that. Let's just run this software again. Now you can see instead of the scene we got also A B C D. So that's cool. At least we could get some information from our OBS. Yeah, but the problem is how can we actually control our OBS? Well, we do this by simply doing a WebSocket core. Let me write it down. Core request dot here's the scene. Under the request, we got uh, many different uh, functions to use. For example, for this one, create a scene. We can create a scene, oh my god. Or delete a scene item. Or we can get a call in a scene. Or we can get the recording status. I think this is very important. Uh, because sometimes you want to know whether your OBS is recording or not. Okay, enough gets. Uh, let's call the set. Set mute. We can actually disable the audio channel of our OBS for uh, for some microphone for the microphone that you want to uh, disable. And also, we can set the value of your audio channel. Aha! We even got a function for the pause pause recording. This one is very important. Sometimes we want to pause it. And we even have a song recording. That's even better. So with all those code, let's say we can set the corner scene. So in another word, we can switch the scene um, with different scene name. That's good. And also we can pause recording if we do not want to record at that time. For example, for this case, I'll just uh, call the pause recording for two seconds, then come it, uh, make it back. That's right. That's all. Okay, um, to be honest, it's quite a, it, it's an impressive experiment for me to say that if I want to search for and crashing the first result on the Google result, 
last is me. It's my, it's my video. This is quite surprising for me. All right, then let's get into that. I forgot to tell you what's the purpose of this video. Well, I just want to use a software to control the OBS recording inside of a virtual machine inside of this the the native system right in here so in the end there is the result should be if i am using my mouse or keyboard inside of this virtual machine we do the recording in the obs if i am leaving this virtual box for example i move my mouse out and leave it for a while for example one second then it will automatically pass the recording inside of the OBS. So um, by doing so, we could do, let's say, a long time of recording without worrying about the desk storage so that we could get a continuous development process in a video format so that I could share it on the YouTube so that everyone could generally say how I develop all those software or application or demo or whatever. So as the first I need to download this software. Uh, one thing to notice is that why recently I do not want to use the command line anymore because this because one of the key on my keyboard is broken. I cannot press that so I have to do something like this, you know, type a lot of things. That's why I I don't love to write those documents anymore because I cannot type that character. Okay, let me try to open it. Okay, it says that we cannot install it. Maybe we could install the OBS WebSocket with this simple command. But before we do anything, we need to install the OBS Studio. This is the base for any, anything else. Then we try to install the OBS WebSocket again. Okay, um, before anything, I'd like to do a test about the WebSocket for the OBS and our Python code. Okay, we could successfully get the sign, different sign land for the OBS, so the communication is successful. I need to do another test. Just a week ago, I wrote a Python file or python script i use it to detect if the user is in operating the computer or not i'm gonna run it to say if it's working all right for now as you can see we got the true and then the true turns into false that means i didn't operating my computer right now but if i somehow move my mouse you would say that value becomes to true again. This means I am in the operating. The logic is quite simple. If is in moving, then we will resume the recording. Otherwise, we'll just pass it. Now I'm running the software, but you say nothing happened actually. But if I click the 
start recording. And if I move my mouse, if I stop move my mouse, you would now you would say if you look at it carefully, you would say there has a little pause icon inside over here. When I keep still, when I do not move my mouse, it will pause the radio recording. But when I move my mouse, you would say it's start to recording again. So this is quite useful as I think. With this, I could uh, definitely make a lot of amazing video in the future. So I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.